Hi everyone. Welcome to Java Tiki. If you have ever attended a Java developer interview, then you might have faced this classic question where interviewer might ask you to design the producer and consumer problem in Java using multithreading. Or maybe he can ask you to design a shared buffer using a queue. Now when it comes to the multithreading, a lot of people either skip this question or overcomplicate it. But trust me, it's actually a very simple concept and there is no rocket science so don't worry in this tutorial we are going to solve the producer consumer problem step by step with different approach and by the end of this video you will have that confident to tackle this question in any future interview okay all right so without any further delay let's get started So before we start writing the code, first let's understand this producer consumer mechanism. Okay. Now let's assume you have a producer and you have a consumer. Define producer as a thread one and consumer as a thread two. Now what happened? Producer produced the message to this particular queue. Then from queue, consumer pull that particular message. So you can consider this queue as a storage. or you can consider this as a shared buffer because both producer and consumer exchanging the data through this particular queue so that's why it is called shared buffer now what happened since we understand this queue has some capacity let's say we have defined some capacity called 5 now what happened producer is trying to put the message to this particular queue but there is no capacity then if there is no capacity in that situation your producer needs to wait until there is a space okay once there is a space producer will put that message and notify to the consumer saying that i have added something for you you go ahead and take that particular message then when it comes to the consumer side consumer first will check the queue if the queue is empty he will again wait until the message is available in that particular queue once the message available in the queue consumer consume that message and send the acknowledgement using notify okay so if you see we are using multi threading wait and notify in both producer and consumer and the approach is very simple producer if there is no capacity then he will simply wait nothing to do similarly if consumer is checking if queue is empty then consumer needs to wait otherwise both can process the message and notify to the each other this is the simple approach we are going to design using multi threading and the approach is very simple the things what we have discussed here we are going to do the same in action okay let's go to intellij idea so let me create a java class i'll name it producer consumer example then at very first step if you understand this this producer and consumer needs to get or put the message from this particular queue so first i need to define a queue with some capacity value okay so i'll define a variable called capacity then i'll define a queue of type integer i mean any value we can define currently i want to add the integer value to the queue now name it queue new linked list and this capacity value i will initialize at run time so i'll define a constructor all good now the approach is straight forward if you observe we have defined the queue next we need to create a producer and we need to create a consumer method now let me define a producer method public void produce 
सम वैल्यू ओके इंट वैल्यू नाउ आई हैव डिफाइन ए मेथड व्हाट आई नीड टू डू फर्स्ट सिंस द प्रोड्यूसर एंड कंज्यूमर इज टू डिफरेंट थ्रेड टू अक्वायर द लॉक एंड टू गारंटी दैट द मल्टीपल थ्रेड कैन नॉट एक्सेस इट पैरेलली आई हैव टू डिफाइन दिस सिंक्रोनाइज्ड ओके विदाउट सिंक्रोनाइज्ड आई कैन नॉट अप्लाई द लॉक ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट करेक्ट सो फॉर दैट रीजन आई हैव डिफाइन द मेथड प्रोड्यूस विथ सिंक्रोनाइज्ड कीवर्ड नाउ व्हाट नेक्स्ट एट फर्स्ट स्टेप द प्रोड्यूसर needs to check whether the capacity is available or not so while q dot size equal equal to capacity then nothing to do simply wait just throw the exception to the method signature now just add a comment wait until there is a space in the queue if there is a space in the queue then what you can do you can just add your message to the Q and just print something. Once you print something, then notify to the consumer. Okay, so that is the reason. If there is a no capacity, wait. If there is a capacity, add your message to the Q, then notify all waiting thread. You can also define your notify. That's not an issue. But if you have multiple thread, notify will not wake up all the thread. So it's always recommended to use notify all. Okay, notify all. will help to wake up all the waiting consumer thread that is done as part of the producer the approach is very straight forward the theory what we understand here we apply the same thing in this particular produce method similarly let's write the consumer now what we understand in the consumer consumer will check if the queue is empty then he will wait until the message is available if the queue is available or the message is available in queue he will consume it and again notify back to the producer saying that i got your messages okay that is a simple step we need to do so again i repeat multi threading is no rocket science you need to understand how can you pause a thread and how how can you notify to the thread that is the two things you can play using wait and notify to design a shared buffer program okay so let's define the consume method public again define it synchronized int then you can define method name consume what consumer will check while queue is empty then nothing to do simply wait and throw the exception to the method signature and just add a message wait until there is an item to the queue or item to consume that's fine if there is a item in queue you simply pull that particular message and i'm just adding some print statement once you got the message notify to all the producer thread saying that i got your messages and just return the value simple logic right producer and consumer both are communicating with each other using wait and notify manually we are locking the object and we are releasing once the queue is available in both the case it's the simple approach so if you observe both producer and consumer we are manually handling the locking and unlocking using synchronized and wait notify okay now let's test this particular producer and consumer now let me define a main method i'll create the object of this particular class producer consumer example new producer consumer example and i have defined the uh, initial queue capacity as a 5 okay now let me create two thread producer thread and consumer thread you can see here i have created a producer thread and i have created one consumer thread in producer thread i am just iterating 10 message and producing to the queue ps dot produce is nothing adding the message in my queue then again in the consumer thread i am just consuming the message from queue this consume method will call okay this is the simple logic we have defined and to simulate the time to get the clarity on producer and consumer forcefully i am applying slip on my thread while producing slip for 100 millisecond and while consuming slip for 150 millisecond you can increase the number to simulate the producer and consumer flow all good 
our main intention to understand how to define this producer and consumer and currently we are playing with a single thread producer thread and consumer thread but if you want to explore different behavior you can create multiple producer thread and consumer thread inside a loop create more thread and publish the messages that's different story that's not the complex part once you understand this basic flow you can play with any approach fine now let's run this particular logic see the output here produce producer produce zero consumer consume it producer produce one consumer consume it produce two consume two produce three then see here there is a change produce three then produce four then consume three now let's take this and understand why this happened okay now what happened your producer produce the message to the three i mean producer produce the message three where is the producer once it produce the message my producer notify to the waiting thread who is my waiting thread this consumer okay this particular consumer thread but when thread scheduler give the chance to consumer thread because of the delay it didn't wake up at the time so again the control goes to producer thread then producer publish the message again after that once again producer notify consumer thread wake up and okay i have some message in the queue i need to take that so he take the third message that is how there is a little shuffled in the output but that is expected because since we are using multi threading there is no order in output but if you see produce and consume in correct manner okay so this is how you can solve your producer consumer problem in java using multi threading okay and in this approach if you observe we are manually handling the wait and notify we are manually handling the thread execution but if you don't want to manually handle the wait notify then you can use an alternative approach that is using blocking queue that is much easier and also recommended to use now let's understand how we can solve this producer consumer problem using blocking queue so what i'll do i'll create another class let me copy this name using blocking queue this blocking queue is another data structure who will handle the object locking and unlocking internally you no need to take the headache of thread communication okay so let's try that out now meanwhile what what i'll do i'll just copy this logic then we'll go to our blocking queue example i'll define a main method let me paste this particular code again this is what nothing we have created the producer thread and consumer thread okay the same test scenario now instead of the the challenge here instead of using our custom wait notify logic we want to use the blocking queue so we can comment this we don't want to use our own producer consumer logic so what i want to use i want to use the blocking queue just create the object of blocking queue specify the generic i am using integer for now queue equal to new array blocking queue and initial capacity i will define 5 now since i have the queue i can use queue dot add and i can add the element similarly or after that i will just do one thing i'll just print it okay produce this particular message similarly in consumer thread from the blocking queue i can pull the message okay then also i will add some sys out consume the message will this particular code will work first of all we remove the taking additional headache of thread communication using wait and notify who will handle that this blocking queue and we are using this particular queue to add the message and from the consumer thread get the message and we are just printing it for testing okay so let's run it then we'll understand what is the best way we can deal with this approach okay let me run this so if you see here 
we are getting the result producer produce 0 consume 0 1 1 2 2 then again the thread switching context switching happened who got the priority either producer or consumer he just executed it okay i repeat since this is the multi threading we don't have any control on order now this approach is work correctly now what is the problem if i use add and if i use the poll now the problem using if you are using blocking queue then use blocking queue specific method the reason if you will define add in case the queue capacity is full then it will simply throw the exception but if you will define in consumer if you will define it is full then it will return the null object if the queue is empty so that is the reason it's recommended to use queue dot put what it does the same thing what we are doing here in the producer if q size equal to capacity then wait block the thread so that is the reason you need to use q dot put method so that it will block the thread if the q capacity is full okay similarly let me comment the first one we don't need to use the add you understand the problem using add okay now similarly in consumer thread we no need to use the poll because it will return the null object if the queue is empty so the recommended method to use you can simply use take okay so i will define value you can print this in previous example also you just print the value i print the i but that is fine we got the order okay now just comment this now it's always recommended if you are using blocking queue to handle the wait notify or to block the thread and unblock the thread go for the dedicated method put and take okay now if i will run this i got the output consume 0 produce 0 again it's support because of the thread scheduler it's not in our control okay so this is how you can define your producer consumer example the first one is something you will understand the wait notify flow second one is something using blocking queue the wait notify will completely abstract for you you no need to take the headache of thread communication and dealing with wait notify just use the correct data structure it will handle everything for you okay so i believe this producer and consumer concept is crystal clear for you now if an interview throw you this question whether they say shared buffer producer consumer or design with multi threading wait notify you can simply smile and say bring it on if you found this helpful don't just vanish like a waiting thread hit the like button subscribe to the java techy and ring the bell so you don't miss any further updates okay until next time Keep coding, keep learning, I'll see you in the next video.